surprise when the call came uh, as frustrations have built inside the juvenile detention centers nationwide as the number of coronaviruses have continued to climb. Her 17-year-old son was on the phone with her as 40 children in his facility had rioted in Louisiana. This is something that has happened in months past due to coronavirus measures. Joining us now to talk more about this is Roger Green uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Roger, um, this is this has been a very interesting path for anyone who has loved ones who are incarcerated in juvenile centers, in prison, anything like that. Some of them have not even been able to visit with their loved ones due to the coronavirus measures. Nietzsche, this story disturbs me on so many different levels because we're in such uncharted waters with the COVID virus. There are many parents that are concerned about the juveniles that are locked up in juvenile detention facilities uh, because the teens and the juveniles are reporting to their parents that the situation is out of hand. It's a safety issue. People are rioting. Uh, the guards are pepper spraying them regularly. Uh, some of the health concerns that the kids have, uh, they're crying out to their parents, but the parents are being shut out. They haven't been able in many cases to talk or find out a, a status of their child for two to three weeks on end. So it's a very, very sad situation. Yeah, it, um, and I agree with what you said about uncharted territory. You, there's many layers here in any uh, restricted area like that, what the workers uh, are encountering and, and how they feel, and then what the inmates feel. Um, but to have riots and helicopters swarming over uh, and outbreaks and things like that is just absolutely crazy. Nietzsche, the concern that I have is that all over the country, uh, in adult facilities, they're letting a lot of the inmates out to serve some of the sentences at home because of the COVID nightmares and some of the spread of the COVID. And they, they're being lax in some of their treatment to some of the adult inmates. But here we have juveniles, many of them in their teens, very young with not necessarily serious, serious life-threatening offenses that they could allow to go home, but they're not letting them go home. And then there are many cases where they're having many of them in solitary confinement for 23 hours of a day, not giving them counseling, not giving them proper health uh, screenings. Uh, when they find out that they have COVID, they're basically putting them in isolation and closing the door. So there are many health concerns because under the 14th Amendment of the Constitution in the Due Process Clause, there is a right to safety when you are even an inmate. So there's certain rights that may be being violated in the midst of this pandemic. You brought up so many uh, really, really good points and uh, hearing you playing back what you've said, it, it troubles me. It troubles me that this is the case. It's already an adjustment for adults uh, that are that are on the outside. It's already a very, very unique adjustment. It is also a very unique adjustment for children who are actually at home. I can only imagine the level of adjustment that it is taken for those who are incarcerated. Absolutely. And, and like I mentioned, these are kids. These are minors. These are juveniles. You know, there's a lot of trauma that is taking place that they're going to need some help in the coming days ahead. I think the misnomer right. is when someone is incarcerated, whether it's an adult or juvenile, that they lose all rights. They don't. You still have rights. Right. As I mentioned, the 14th Amendment of the Constitution gives them rights. So parents that, that are looking and viewing this, if, if they have some concerns, they need to reach out to some civil rights attorneys and find out what are the rights for them as Absolutely. parents and what are the rights for their children. Roger, always an insightful conversation with you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Michi, it's always a pleasure talking to you.